This is the temple of Osiris in Abydos, in Central Egypt. One of the most mysterious gifts has come down from heaven to earth. It is the so-called jet pillar. It has been suggested that it could be a symbol of fertility or maybe a symbol of eternity, but also a symbol of power. What power? Do they maybe mean electricity? Eric believes the jet pillar could have been used as some kind of electrical insulator, like you see at the top of modern power poles. But did the Egyptians have a way to generate electricity in the first place? According to von Danigan, a strange metal-lined vessel was found not far from central Egypt. From the outside, this exact replica looks like an ordinary clay jar. But when von Danigan pours in a common acidic liquid, like vinegar, this strange jar generates electricity like a battery. Now von Danigan searches for the ways that the ancient Egyptians might have used this electricity. In the basement of the Temple of Dendera in southern Egypt, his investigation uncovers a possible answer. In this basement, there were different crypts. And in one of these crypts, we have fantastic reliefs on the wall. Look closely. Von Danigan sees something that may look like a cord which leads to a socket. Attached to the socket might be some kind of filament, and on the outside is a transparent bubble. Could this be an image of an ancient Egyptian light bulb? Van Danigan and his associates decided to test this hypothesis in the laboratory. We made a model of this electric bulb exactly in the same measurement. Would it work? Would it function? And it functioned. It works. Yet there is one theory which many experts believe is the most likely use of the Baghdad battery. The Baghdad battery didn't produce much power, perhaps a little over a volt, but that would have been sufficient to allow silver to be plated with gold. What the Baghdad battery shows then is that electroplating is another ancient discovery. It is thought that the practice of electroplating one metal over the top of another is a modern invention. Yet with the Baghdad battery, perhaps the ancients had also mastered this art. The gold in the solution is attracted to the coin, and in only a few minutes, the coin has been completely coated in gold. <laughs>